In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a new piece of legislation that was just introduced, offering $2,500 up to $5,000 worth of tax credits for simply shopping. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Now, first off, this probably sounds way too good to be true. I agree with you, it does, but it's actually not, as this was just introduced a couple days ago and offering, like I said, up to $2,500 or even $5,000 for some people for simply shopping shopping for those products that are made mostly here in the United States and that are offered by small or medium-sized businesses consistent with the standards of the FTC, Federal Trade Commission. I'm going to give you all the details here in this video as well as the name of the legislation so you can look it up if you'd like to do some research on this. And this would be an awesome tax credit for a lot of people, literally incentivizing us, the consumers, to buy and to do some shopping. I don't know, do we need to be incentivized to do any shopping? <laughs> I don't know, but seriously, the situation is, uh, this would help our economy here in the United States a lot. It would stimulate our economy. It would produce more jobs, a lot more manufacturing, a lot more of other uh, industries as a result of that. Again, it would help our economy a lot right now because we know a lot of products that we buy are actually brought in from overseas, right? Many other countries. Now, obviously, that is not the situation for everything, but a lot of the products here. If you don't believe me, just do this. Go to the store. Next time you're at the store, flip the product over and look at the bottom. You'll see somewhere on there, it'll say made in and you'll see a name of a country. It could be USA, it could be multiple other countries, but you'll see clearly that a lot of the items that are out there are not made here in the United States. So anyway, that's the whole purpose of this credit. Now, I have a lot more details for you here that I wanna share with you, but really fast before we do, if you're enjoying this video so far or any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, do yourself a huge favor and hit that subscribe button down below the video. I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching the details and we need to stick together right now. It is a weird time out there. It is a rough time out there and the last couple of years have been brutal for the finances of most people. Just read any of the reports, look at any of the studies out there. Most people have no money right now. Seriously, I've talked about it before in other videos. It's a sad situation. And again, I'm here for you to maximize your money, to point out anything out there you can possibly grab or take advantage of and advocate on your behalf in any way that I possibly can. So again, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe down below. Really do appreciate it. And uh, let's talk through the details about this. All right. So the name of the legislation, I like to give you the names of these. So if you want to do your own research on this, by all means, go for it, look it up, do some research on it if you want to. Otherwise, I'll give you the details here in this video as well. But the name of the legislation is Made in the USA Tax Cut Act. Again, Made in the USA Tax Cut Act. That's the name of legislation. It was just introduced a couple days ago by a couple of Democratic lawmakers. Now, what do they want to do with this? The whole purpose of this is, again, to incentivize us, the consumer, to go out and buy products that are mostly made here in the United States, consistent with the standards from the FTC, again, Federal Trade Commission, mostly from small and medium-sized businesses with less than 500 employees, okay? So right now as well, when we go to buy something, do we generally buy from big box stores, huge multi-billion dollar, hundred billion, trillion dollar companies? Or do we always go to the small corner store and buy something from them? Again, it's everybody's per personal preference. And again, a lot of it probably has to do with um, pricing and availability of different products, right? I know for me, it's a lot of it has to do with availability of products. Again, convenience as well. And pricing obviously is a big one, right? We always wanna pay the smallest and the lowest price we possibly can. At least that's my situation. I'm always looking for a coupon, a deal, a promo code, a sale, a clearance sale, something like that, right? Uh, but anyway, that's kind of the situation. So that's the whole thing is to incentivize all of us to buy these products, again, United States made and from smaller businesses. Uh, so that's the whole purpose behind this, okay? Now, how would the tax credits actually work? Here's what it comes down to. The tax credits would be available at a, a pace of $2,500 for an individual and $5,000 for a married couple. Now, how? How would you take this tax credit and how would you prove that, hey, I bought $4,000 worth of American-made products from small businesses last year? How would you claim that tax credit? 
It's a good question. I don't really have an answer for you, okay? Here's why. They did not give specific details about this. My, I guess my point would be is, how do I prove it? How do I prove that I bought $4,000? And again, this is not my situation. I'm just simply saying, this is just an example that I'm making up here, okay? But if you go out and you try to uh, take the tax credit, how do you prove that, yes, I in fact did spend thousands of dollars last year uh, you know, on these American-made products and I bought them from these smaller businesses? How do you do that? Do you get some type of... Uh, um, proof of purchase, like, well, obviously a receipt you would have, but you know, what do you need to do? Like, like what are the parameters of claiming it? Again, I don't know. I did not see the details about that. Okay. But this would actually be pretty interesting. Would it be simply uh, just getting some type of proof of purchase at time of purchase where the business baby says, Hey, this qualifies for this one tax credit. And here's some extra proof for you that you can put in your files and, you know, uh, keep in your possession if you need to. Okay. So I would assume there'd be something like that along those lines. There'd be some type of documentation, maybe from the business, or maybe just receipts would be good enough. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing there'd probably be more to it than just receipts because um, you know, all these businesses would need to have some type of stamp of approval or all the products that'd be offered through this would actually have some type of stamp approval that says like, you know, this is offered by the tax credit or whatever, and you can take it for that. So there's a lot of unanswered questions here. Now, another question I would also wonder too is, is this only focused on people within an income threshold that they've identified? Now, remember... A lot of the tax credits that are out there are available to people that have an income below a certain threshold. Depending on the type, uh, types of tax credits that are available, sometimes the income thresholds are, say, $75,000 a year for an individual, one fifty dollars for a married couple, two hundred dollars for an individual, $400,000 for a married couple. There's a lot of different tax credits and a lot of different income brackets that are available out there. So again, this would be another one of my big questions would be, is this only focused on people that have an income below a certain threshold or somebody making, you know, $5 million a year? Can they go and also take it, take advantage of this credit? I don't know. Again, I did not see those details on this at all. <clears throat> I did not see any specific uh, details about that. So, I don't know. I don't have those answers for you right now. But either way, this would actually be pretty cool. I mean, it would obviously help out a lot of people if you could claim an extra tax, uh, sorry, tax credit on your tax return when you go to file that actually says, yes, I did indeed spend, you know, X dollars the previous year on, you know, these products at these businesses. And now you get to deduct that from your taxes. Okay. It just simply means lowering your overall t um, taxable income. So then therefore you would spend, you know, you'd pay less in, you know, when it comes down to tax time. So I don't know, this could be beneficial to a lot of people. And not only that, think of it from the business side as well, okay? Let's just say that more people are out there buying from smaller businesses. Uh, would that be beneficial to the local, uh, to the local cities, the local counties, things like this? Yeah, definitely it would. Why? Now they have more revenue coming in. What can they do then? They can hire more people. They can build out more. Maybe they can open more locations. They can sell more products. They can span their business line. It also helps the small businesses and their families, the owners of the small businesses as well, right? You got to think of those people. Who owns the small businesses? Probably your neighbors. I mean, seriously, it's people just like us living out there, our neighbors, people that we, you know, interact with on a regular basis. They're just trying to do the same thing we are, make ends meet, put a little pot, uh, money in their pockets so they can put uh, food on the table. That's literally the exact same thing. Business owners are literally the same people, just like all of us, just trying to make ends meet, trying to offer some service. Service, trying to offer some value to the local area. That's all they're trying to do, right? Put some food on the table and um, pay the bills. That's about it, right? So anyway, I want to share this with you really quickly. Again, feel free to look it up if you'd like to. Otherwise, I will continue to keep you posted on this. Who knows where this is going to go, if it's just going to be one of these that's introduced and then we never see it again, or if we actually see some traction out of this. I don't know. But either way, I will continue to keep you posted on this. It is actually pretty an interesting one, but um, that's about it for now, as of right now. So please make sure to subscribe down, uh, down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, send me social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those down below in the description or at the top of the comment section. I pinned one there as well. Those videos I've hand-selected for you. Otherwise, uh, take advantage of any of those that you see up showing up on your screen right now. Uh, watch those as well. And until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the next